All right, so sometimes you want to make a stopper knot, <clears throat> a figure eight, or a, just a simple overhand stopper knot or a double. But you you're, you know you're going to untie that pretty soon. You don't want it to load up with a lot of tension. So you can make what's called a slipped or a slippery stopper knot. Usually this is referred to as a slip knot. So I'm going to make my overhand loop. All right, so I take my working end across my standing end above it or over, and I've got my overhand loop. Move it down a bit. So this time, instead of tucking the working end through, I'm going to take a small bite in the working end and stuff that bite through the loop. Okay. So now when I pull down on the standing part, I've got that bite on the working end. That bite has been pulled through the loop and cinched down. Now this stopper knot will hold a lot of tension. And then when I'm done with it, I just pull on that tag end, that free end of the working end and it'll slip right back out um, thus slipped knot and it's nice and free okay. the slip knot uh, I make the overhand loop and I tuck that bite through if I took a big bite and tucked it through and then cinch down on the overhand now with the the working end I can adjust I can adjust the size of that bite on the other side of the um, overhand knot. <clears throat> now I can use that, put that around something. Um, maybe I can put that around like a slip knot hitch. I've wrapped that around my finger or a, um, a branch or something. It's not a great knot. It could easily collapse with any real weight or tension on it. You see how it's pulling free. So that slip knot is, uh, it, in my opinion, is best used just as a, um, as a quick stopper. I'll use this in my, uh, my paracords quite a bit paracord ends because it's an easy knot to tie. It doesn't tie real well in this robust climbing rope, but that's just a slip stopper and a little pull and it's easily uh, easily collapsed so that it comes out. If I were to tie that same sort of knot uh, in the middle of my line, like further up in the standing, <clears throat> I make my overhand uh, loop and then I tuck a bite through. So I've made that uh, that the same idea there with that bite through the overhand knot, but I've got the my um, working end is now going around the tree or coming back. This is sometimes useful in uh, like a trucker's hitch especially, but now this slipped knot in the middle of your line that both ends are working would be called a running knot. So it's a running slip knot or running knot for short. So we're going to use that running slip knot or running knot for short in uh, the trucker's hitch later on. But typically you'll see your slipped knots instead of overhand loop, instead of tucking the, the free end through, you put a bite of your line through to form your overhand knot on. And then you get your slipped stopper knot.